Hello everyone, Jack here, and this video is a quick start guide for the Papilio Duo using the FPGA side of the board. So first of all, you're going to want to make sure that you have the Papilio Duo connected to your computer. Um, and actually before you even do that, make sure that uh, you have the, the power um, jumper connected to the FPGA side, so it should be the bottom position. And then take a, a micro USB uh, cable and connect it to the FPGA slot or the FPGA port. You should see a uh, power LED come on. And then go back, go to your computer and open up the Design Lab software. Okay, uh, once it's up, you need to verify that, um, that you're seeing the Papilio Duo under Tools, Serial Port, and then the best way to tell whether you're connected or not is to simply disconnect your your duo and see which one of the serial ports goes away so we're going to unconnect it go back uh, look at our serial ports and we see that COM4 is gone so let's go ahead and connect it back up again and see if COM4 comes back So COM4 does come back, so that's most likely the correct one. Now the the, the better way to do this is uh, to go to your device manager, which is if you hit the Windows key and X, and then you go to device manager. This works under Windows 8, by the way. Um, if you go to ports, you should see Papilio Duo FPGA serial port on COM4, and then um, you also see it under USB. So those are a couple ways to tell which port you're connected to. Um, okay, so now we know the correct port, we also want to select the correct board. So this demo is for the FPGA side of the Papilio Duo. So we're going to go to boards, Papilio, FPGA boards, and then choose the Duo. It should show up down here that we're using the Papilio Duo FPGA and <clears throat> we're using ZPUino on COM4. Okay, so let's go ahead and bring up, let's use the Papilio Duo Quick Start project. And we can find that by scrolling down and looking at the table of contents. Uh, clicking on this, it'll bring the window up. And so this is a sketch that also has a circuit associated with it. So we have these new um, icons in the Design Lab software. And we can, first of all, probably want to take a look at the circuit. Clicking on that will bring it up. It's a PDF. Um, and we can see that the contents of this circuit are a 2.0 ZPUino soft processor for the Papilio Duo. It doesn't have anything connected to the wishbone slots. So it's just a generic vanilla installation of the ZPUino soft processor. Okay, so if we go back now, you always have to load the circuit associated with a sketch to the FPGA. And the way to do that is to click on the load circuit icon. And we should see it detecting that we have um, a Spartan 6 LX9. And it's loading our uh, circuit to the board. Now when it does this, it's actually programming to the circuit to SPI flash. And this is important for um, ZPUino based projects. They need to run out of the SPI flash. Okay, so we've completed burning the circuit to the FPGA. It should be live and running on the FPGA now. So we can actually write this sketch to the ZPUino soft processor. And what this sketch does, it's the getting started quick start sketch. It will blink all of the LEDs on all of the wing ports and it will output an ASCII table on the serial port. So in order to load this code onto the ZPUino, we click the upload button. This will compile it and then it very quickly uploads it, connects over the serial port and or the USB serial port and uploads it. So now if we take a look at our um, circuit board, so I've got a, a uh, button and LED wing connected to one of the wing slots 
and I can see that this quick start sketch is actually blinking the LEDs. Now if I hold down one of the buttons it should make that LED go solid as we see here. Okay. Also if I change wing slots let's go from the A wing slot to the B wing slot it should be the same same behavior. Eh, hard to see that with my thumb. Okay so now let's go back and let's connect to the serial port and if we look in the setup section we see that the serial port is running at 9600 BPS so let's bring up the serial monitor and it is already set to 9600 so we should see the ASCII table flying by now so uh, I think that pretty much covers uh, this is how you can quickly get started with sketches on the FPGA, FPGA side using the ZPUino soft processor. There's many examples. Um, and uh, I think that's it. Thank you for watching.